Mamin Jashima Tajirbuban. It's like Kundalini do and then go down to Shima Tajis Lotus feet and to Pandan on. Open both hands in front of mother. All the pure faith and movement. Take a three deep breath in, in your at your own time. Request Mother Shumataji, please come in my heart. Please make my heart pure and please be here in my heart. Shumataji, please come in my attention. Please enlighten my attention. Did you please come in my thoughts? Please enlighten my spirit. Do you want to get your blessings and pure spirit? We all want to do this meditation with pure heart. Please be there for this meditation. Three great mantras.
Deixa eu montar de... Ele parece montar... Mata, please, come in my mulada. Please, unlight in my mulada, Chukra. Please take me to top class of animals. Please take me to top class of animals. Please connect me to the open wedding bar. That you are, God, and you are in joy within me. We surrender ourselves at your Lord's feet. I request, Mother, Shumataji, please come in my muladhar in the form of Shri Ganesha. Please help me clear my muladhar chakra. Left hand towards mother and right hand on the ground. Put attention on left mother. And we say Nirmal Ganesha Mantra. Om Tvameva Sakshat Shri Nirmal Ganesha Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Deve Namaha Mother, by your grace, I'm innocent. Now both hands on the lap, attention on center muladhara. And we say Shri Ganesha Gauri Mantra. Om Tvameva Sakshat Shri Ganesha Gauri Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Deve Namo Namaha We say, Shumataji, please make me innocent. Please come in my son to Muladhara. Please help me clear my son to Muladhara. Shumataji, please make me innocent.
Slowly put right hand towards mother and left hand on the ground. Attention on right mother dhamma. Shikartikeya mantra. Om Tvameva Sakshat. Shri Kartikeya Sakshat. Shri Adi Shakti Mataji. Shri Nirmala Deve Namu Namaha. Say, Mataji, please make me worthy of your appreciation. Please make me worthy of your love. Shumataji, please make me worthy of you. Again, meditate on right muladhara. Om Tvameva Sakshat Sarva Rakshasa Hantri Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namu Namaha Mother, you are the destroyer of all the evil in me. Please destroy all the negativity within me. We feel that attention becomes pure and feel thoughtless awareness. Stay in meditative state. Slowly take attention to Agya Chakra. Listen to Shimataji. So when you are in the collective, it should be such that another person should enjoy your company, enjoy your being there. That is something where there is no problem. But if you are demanding and if you are asking for things and uh, you think no end of yourself, you cannot at all collect you by any chance, but you will suffer for that. Automatically you will suffer. If this is realized and understood properly, your Agha is solved. Like 
anger. People always boast, I'm very angry with you, boast. But just make that anger into forgiveness and you'll see the person, instead of you getting into problems, he will get into problems. Anger will upset you, but forgiveness will upset him automatically. It's the biggest weapon you have, God, is to forgive. And this is shown in Buddha's character throughout. And this will give you self-respect that you are not disturbed by anything. Like a ship has to be seaworthy. If you put the ship on the sea and if it breaks, what's the use of making a ship? What's the use of a surgery who gets disturbed at every moment? You have to be seaworthy. And if you are seaworthy, Nothing can disturb you, all right. The elephant is barking and the dogs are barking, all right. Let them bark, what does matter? The elephant looks this side, like that, sometimes takes some water and blesses them with water, all right. Quiet them down, so that your head will be cooled down. That will give you self-esteem and you will know what you are, much higher than others. And this is what is how to get rid of your ego, which is a very, very big problem according to you people. No matter how to get rid of ego. Ego can be said, you go. <laughs> when this I-ness goes away, the self rises. What is there to feel hurt? What is there to feel bad? What is there to hurt others? Ah, all right, you are cheated. Very good, at least you have not cheated anyone. Be happy about it. But once you are without ego, means you have surrendered yourself, no one can cheat you. Can you understand that? No one can cheat you because there is some higher force which is looking after you. This is the way we should understand Buddha. This is we should know our Buddha qualities. This is how our ego can be dissolved. When you say, Mother, we surrender to you, that just means that you give this horrible ego a complete holiday. It means that. That is how this ego disappears. And I think all your, your just now, ragyas are open out, most of you somehow. And then you laugh at everything, you make fun of yourself, just enjoy everything. May God bless you. साक्षात श्री का
ಪದಶಾರುದ್ರ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಶಕ್ತಿ ಮಾತಮಲೇವ್ಯ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಮಹನುಮಾನ ಓಮೇವ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಮಹಾಭೈರವ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಬುದ್ಧ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಓಮೇವ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಮಹಾವೀರ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಮಹಾಕೇ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಓಮೇವ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಮಹಾಗಣೇಶ ನಮೋ ಓಮೇವ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಮೀಯೋ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ತ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಓಮೇವ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮದೇವ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಓಮೇವ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಮೀನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಮಶಿವಾರ್ವತಿ ನಮೋ ನಮೇವ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಮಿರಣ್ಯಗರ್ಭ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಮಿಯಾಕ್ತಿ ಮಾತೀನಿರ್ಮಲೇವ್ಯ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ
denies when she goes to the agya chakra the kundalini rises when she goes to the agya chakra which represents as you say the third eye whatever you may call it it is between the optic chasma and it looks after the pituitary and the pineal body and as a result we have developed two institutions called ego and super ego the ego is the one which tells us i have done i am doing this both these institutions are sucked in by the enlightenment of the center and that's how the thing opens out and all your karmas are sucked in so there's no problem of karmas only human beings think think that they are doing karmas animals don't they have no sense of sin or anything they are completely under the bondage of god so in sanskrit they are called as pashu means under the bondage but we are the ones we have got freedom and that's why we think that we have done this and we have done that and we should not do this we should not do that but when the kundalini rises and she awakens the center then both these things are sucked in and when they are sucked in then you do not do any karmas anymore you just are in a karma you do everything i mean i i travel you know such a lot and i have a family and everything is there but it's just i'm happening i'm just seeing it i'm not doing anything as such so when you are also vacant there's uh, no obligation it's just happening it is so. is uh, is here where we should understand the this center uh, is bestowed upon by the great life of Christ the Christ is there and they said that he died for our sins died for our karmas is a fact because when he is awakened these two institutions are pulled in inside and you get your kundalini out there it opens out and this bone which has been calcified opens out and the kundalini pierces through and this is what it is that he died for our sins but still the theory is uh, extended that we must suffer why should we suffer he has suffered for us already and is already written by thomas who was traveling to india via uh, egypt where he wrote the treatise and uh, he said uh, that uh, why should we suffer christ has already suffered for us and he's talked everything about sahaj yoga he said it is an experience of self realization and everything and that book now is out in england after 48 year, years they could uh, decode the whole thing which was found about 48 years back in egypt and is out now and is beautiful gnostics is the name of the book uh, but uh, is not so much appreciated by some of the people because it challenges the theories uh, of sufferings and confessions and all this nonsense me or you 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 cannot awaken yourself uh you see you have to have one enlightened candle to enlighten another candle this candle which is not enlightened cannot enlighten itself but there's no obligation but you can correct once it is awakened you can correct it you can develop it first on the few hair like strands of this energy come up and open the fontanel bone area and then this flow of roo starts flowing on you and it relaxes more of the centers so more of these strands start coming up so you can develop it at your will by understanding it but you cannot enlighten yourself by yourself
gaining total awareness? Why is this difficult? Because it's not Sahaja meditation. All other meditations are artificial. You, be, you are in meditation when you are in such. Unless and until Kundalini is awakened and you are one with the Divine Power, still thinking all the time, how can you stop thinking? There is one thought that rises and another thought that falls off. Again another thought comes up and it falls off. It goes on like this and we are dancing on the cusp of these thoughts. In between the thought there is a little space called as Vilamba, is the present. Either we are in the past or in the future. But that is only possible when the Kundalini comes up, then these thoughts become more lean and there's a bigger space left and you remain in thoughtless awareness. And that is how it works out.
Cici Mutaji everyone. We thank you, Shri Mataji, for giving this new invaluable knowledge and beautiful state. Thank you, Shri Mataji, for giving this joyous state, which wasn't ever possible without your grace. Thank you, Shri Mataji. Let's do collective bandhan and we'll listen to this beautiful. Shiva Stuti. Today is Maha Shivratri. We wish you all to have a very beautiful and blessed day. Thank you, everyone.
ಕಾಲ ಬಾಲ ವ್ಯವಿ ಮಿತ್ರ 